In this video, I'm going to show you how to store data across multiple screens using the TinyDB storage unit. So my design screen is set up just like my singular storage unit. I have a text here, label here to display my text, a text box to take input from the user, my store button, uh, which I'm going to use to store my data. I have my next button, which allows me to go to my next page. And if I go over to my storage, I use the hidden component of the tiny DB storage here. I also added a second screen, screen two. On this screen two, I have that same tiny DB storage unit one, and I have a label to display my text. So I'm going to start off with coding uh, screen one. And again, when that store button is clicked, because I want to be able to display it, I'm going to set my label to the labels text to the input from the text box. Now this isn't needed to store it, but just allows you as the operator and user to know what's being stored. I'm going to come to my uh, tiny DB and I'm going to grab my uh, store value button. So I'm going to call that function. I'm going to store my value underneath the tag text. And the value that I'm going to store is whatever is in that text box. Just so I can clear that out, that text box out after I'm done, I'm going to set my text box text to just a blank box at that point. Now, my second button is just going to, when it's clicked, I'm going to uh, open up another screen, up to control, open up another screen, and my screen name is going to be what it's called, which is screen two. Now remember, this has to be spelled identical with capitalization for it to function. So I'm gonna come over to screen two, and I'm just going to write a really simple program. When screen two is initialized or starts up, we're going to set that label that we have here. And we're going to set the text of that label to whatever's in that tiny DP. So we're getting that value here. And the value that we want is what we tagged it as, which was text. I'm going to come back to screen one. I'm going to pull up my emulator. Oh, and we're still on screen two. Let's hopefully my emulator. There we are. And I'm just going to type in hi, Bob. I'm going to store this text. We can see it's stored there. That I go to the next page. When that next page initializes, that label uh, now retrieves it. 